Well, guys, guess what? It's the same day or night or whatever time it is. Uh, we're gonna address what I broke after doing the tune-up, and that is the grill. Anyway, so it's it's held onto the front bumper or onto the car with these five uh, uh, plastic rivets uh, or clips that go in there. But on the bottom, there's four of these little plastic clips right here that uh, that screw uh, from or that are screwed onto the bumper cover that hold the, the grill in place. So we're gonna we're gonna use some two-part epoxy to to get those back on there since you can't really I mean they're attached to the to the grill. So you'd have to replace this whole you'd have to replace this whole uh, back piece. The the painted trim comes off. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick and should be a quick one. So to, to reattach these clips, we're going to be using uh, some JB Weld. It's just a two-part uh, quick weld. It sets in six minutes, so I didn't want to have to sit here and hold this crap for, I don't know, I think the other one's four hours or something like that, so it's pretty quick. Uh, and it's dark gray. You'd be able to tell once you take this off again, but I'm not going to use all of this on all four. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Really all you gotta do is uh, take the cap to puncture the top of these. The steel, the black bottle, it is not the hardening agent, so it's not gonna, it won't set up as quick until you mix in the, the yellow or the hardener. So, and it's equal parts, one to one, and I'm just gonna use a, you know, a piece of crap uh, pin that's dead, so. Here we go.
Well, now that I'm done messing with it, um, it's already starting to harden up. So all it does is stabilize this on the, on the bumper cover anyway, so it doesn't have to be as goopy as I got it on here. I probably could use like a dime size um, of the hardener and the, the JB Weld instead of a half dollar probably. So went a little overboard, but yeah, it'll be all right. Stuff's, uh, stuff's pretty cheap. So now I'll just wait the, the rest of the six minutes or whatever, and then you'll be able to at least move this, and it won't, uh, it won't fall apart. All right, so six minutes later, or maybe 10 they're they're on there pretty firm I mean it's it's set up you can move it around these things it's not going to come off but uh, yeah I got it on there a little goopy but as y'all saw I've made way too much anyway but nobody nobody's gonna see this unless they actually unscrew it or or it falls off or it breaks off again um, at that point, if I still own it, I will fix it again, probably the same exact way. Um, any of this excess, if you do get any, um, any of this excess, if you do get any around the front of the grill or in unwanted areas, you can just take a razor blade or your fingernail while it's still, still soft, rubbery, and just you know scrape it off there. All right, so here's the inside of the bumper cover, and I got the grill uh, installed back on here. And here's those clips. Or here, yeah, I have a little, little places where you screw in. There's four of them. So, I mean, I'm probably risking it, putting these in, you know, 10, 15 minutes afterwards, but it's not a lot of JB Weld on there, so it should hold. That is it. She's done. Uh, the old Civic finally has a, a front mask on. She's got her face painted on. And it is uh, pretty good for a, for a 97, I'll give it that. Um, I enjoyed it, it was a quick, uh, quick little fix. So, got the bumper cover back on, got the grill uh, attached to the bumper cover, and uh, everything attached back to the vehicle. And that'll do it for this one, guys. We'll see you in the next one. How do you? sign off or say bye to people that you they're just watching some dude on the internet work on a car i don't know peace bye later metal i like that man. it's like ooh, uh, so metal yeah anyway y'all see you down the road